three days of racing and the Pink's Orlando event produced some surprising I'm upsets lose my car over a quarter inch. and made for a ton of great racing. Chris Thorne in his big block Camaro took home Todd Fante's Chevy Nova. Then Chris beat Jeff Dixon in a thrilling fifth race and gave back his 1,000 horsepower Monte Carlo in a gracious gesture. I'm going home with my car. Rod Davis lost his Chevy Nova to Skip Frizzell. I didn't lose it, he lost it. Then beat Maryland racer Nathan Pritchett on his Suzuki 1100. It's all about the shocker, baby. Phoenix racer Charles Hendrickson in his mystery car, codenamed the Woolly Mammoth, beat Orlando racer Cliff Bink in his 1965 Chevelle. John Paterno lost his Chevy Nova to Maryland racer Brian Bossone in his Mustang. This week on Pinks, a 20-year cross-town rivalry between the two fastest racers in Orlando is settled on the track. Jimmy Strobel with his legendary Top Fuel 1964 Corvette that makes 1,700 horsepower on nitrous oxide accepts the challenge from Mark Scheib in his 1,600 horsepower 1970 alcohol-fueled Chevy Nova. It's a best three out of five drag race for Pink Slips. Pink's racing. Lose the race. Lose your ride. Let's race. You want to win. I mean, that's what we came here for. Seconds for losers. And nobody's going to leave me on that gate. A lot of power for this track. He's overpowering the track. You can hear his car chattering the tires all the way down. How close did you come to losing your vehicle on that race? That is the closest I've come. Yeah, yeah, we got a fuel. We're going to switch nitrous. When I left, you were still sitting there making a sandwich. That bet flies. There's a fire. 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 That car will be sitting in my garage, and my kids will be playing with it. That's a race. Tonight, the crowd has requested that the two fastest racers in Orlando go head to head and compete. Now, already starting off, we have a fuel issue. Larry, can you explain what Mark and your fuel issue is right now? There's no issue with us, it's alcohol. It's methane alcohol. So you have enough to do the three out of five tonight? Yeah, well, we should. And if you run out of gas, then you would lose I this competition. I forfeit my car. That's what I have to do. You run out of gas, run out of fuel. I forfeit the race, and he gets my car. I'm fine with that, you're, obviously. Yeah, obviously, you're fine with that. <laughs> Can you tell me a little something about your car? It's a 302 small block. <laughs> <laughs> Half of it. It's a 632 cubic inch uh, big Chief Pontiac motor, uh, sheet metal intake. Uh, with a twin fogger nitro system. In your vehicle? That's uh, a 520 inch blown injected street car. Hey, I got, I got power windows, I got headlights, brake lights, blinkers. I'll got it. Awesome. And I got a current tag and registration. You got that? Where's the tag? If, if I on the car. Not, okay. not a current registration. Is it, may, is it for the on bad? the car? Okay. On the car. Okay. Obviously, obviously you guys know each other. But again, game face time. I want to see who's the actual best racer. Obviously, you guys do not need to look at each other's vehicles. You know the vehicles oh. inside and out. Game time. Because you have the less powerful car, I'm going to ask, what are you looking for in this first negotiation? Do you agree to go to a quarter mile? No, I got it, I got it all. Jim, do you yes. agree to go with a quarter mile? Yes. OK. How many lengths are you looking for? None. <laughs> I'm good with that. So we're looking at a heads up race for the first time. The start. I don't want to get killed. How can I start you guys safely? You want to be closer than you were before. Correct. And your you hand flinched, you're going to get blown away by one car. <laughs> your hand moves, yeah, I don't blame. Because I want this to be, you guys to be totally honed in and focused. Would you have one of your crew people give yeah. me the thumbs up? Yes, yeah, trouble. Right. Yeah. You. you give him the thumbs up, and your arm, my arm goes up. I'll, I'll nod my head to the guy that's backing me in. OK, I'll, I'll you'll give me the thumbs, thumbs up. I'm looking at you, thumbs up, my thumbs hand's up. up if me. I even when your Blank. hand goes like that, yeah. we're leaving. You're gone. We're when gone. your arms do this, gone. we're moving. You're, you're, right. If it's your on. ears wiggle, tuck yeah. in, because we're moving. Yeah. Yeah. Don't blink. Don't do nothing. Just stand there, because when you move, we're out of here. Yeah. OK. <laughs> I'm about as nervous as I can be, so let's get this one done. It should be. OK, you guys ready to race right now? Yeah, let's go. All right, first race, let's race. Good luck, Good luck guys. Let's do it.
That's a f***ing ring. He got it on huge tape. My heart's beating at about 150 beats per minute right now. Jimmy by two. We're all running for the guardrail. Jim by two. car is making a lot, a lot of power for this track. And they're both on 10-inch tires. <laughs> What's wrong? Is power off? He was Randy, out Randy wants to know what got hung on the hey. gas pedal worth. What you gonna yeah. Or did he go? Did did you want to go, baby, because I didn't care about the hey. Shut the power off. It's all Power's off. I'm gonna do it the back because it just melted. Oh man. See? Yeah. That melted like wires. He just had electrical fire. Yeah, oh, we just had electrical fire. Damn. Big Daddy, what you gonna do with that bed? That is a bad high gear pull. That's right there. I was in my lane when I went through the quarter mile. <laughs> and that's all that counts. I, I won. <laughs> he jumped the gun anyway. You are one sick time. <laughs> Goes there. I think that's the main point. Oh, right. What do you oh, think burned up, Jimmy? Uh, I think it's just, it's just an electrical. You're done. What is it? Yeah. It's a main electrical to the fuse panel. Oh, he's done. Flash, flash. No, 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 no. We, we got 15 minutes. Yeah. Wow. Here, let me pull I that. Said that. Right, let me pull that panel real quick. Where's the cop and camera? Yeah. Including this one. You should hear the camera. What's shorted? Now let's see. Follow it up. It's this one right here. You can see it's charged. Fire. There's a fire. We got wire dark under here. Fire! It's in the fire! 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 We got wire dark under here. It's in the fire! It's wires melting. There's a lot of smoke coming out of that thing. I may have this shit. Okay, it's off, it's off, it's off. It's off. You know what that is, Dad? That's that, that nitrous heater. We tied up. No. Oh no! That's our clock. That's the clock wire. Is it? Son of a. That's the clock. I don't know, man. There's a lot of smoke. Let's just pull. We pull this wire out. We're fine. It's right here, Dad. I got the wire pulled out. Okay, I'm pulling it here too. Unless they minimal do it, but that's stupid, man. Well, that's parachute cable. Yep. Can you see that? It's grounding on the, the power is grounding on the parachute cable. Yeah, it's right here, Dad. I'm pulling it. Well, I pulled it out. Okay, I'm pulling it from this end. Okay, but we need to get here. Right there. Yeah. From the uh, this post right there. It should be it. Yeah. Just a second. Let me clip this one. I think I can break it here. Okay. Should be all right now. Hopefully it comes back. Take the ball, let's go. Take the ball, let's go. Man, he said I left a little early, but I'm running a guy with 350 more horsepower, a little bit more car, with a wore out nine year old motor. Good Bertha. What I'm good for is, is leaving the gate. I'm fast at the gate, and that's my edge. Good time. Uh, but the second race ain't going to be like that because we run eighth mile. He's going to have his ducks in a row, or that car will be sitting in my garage, and my kids will be playing with it. She is sweating. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. Uh, alcohol, man. It gets colder. Put your look hand on top of that hat. Put your cold. hat. That's about 55 degrees. It sucks a lot of fuel, <clears throat> but because of the methanol, it doesn't run hot. In 90 degree weather here in Florida, we can cruise the cart and never gets over 160 degrees. He just turned the power back on it. He's freaking he nuts. He put it up on the guardrail. Uh, yeah, it was close. Yeah. The problem is there's two cars making an excess of 1,500 horsepower and 10 inch tires. Yeah, exactly. Minimal prep track. And when you have cars in a street racing situation like this today, it's making an excess of 15, 1,600 horsepower. It's real hard to make these cars hook up. And as you've seen, it can be kind of dangerous. These cars move around a lot. And it looks pretty spectacular when you're outside the car, but when you're actually in the car, it's a handful. It's a handful. Would you agree that you won that race due to uh, Mark's jumping? He left early. 
Well, I mean, either way, I mean, I, I did Yeah, you also won by two, but you, yeah. the okay. race is won. Yes. So you chose to run, but yes. he, that, that one, clearly he jumped, and you admit that you jumped on that one. You were a little slow with your hands. Uh, <laughs> one race has clearly gone to Jim. Jim, how close did you come to losing your vehicle on that race? Real close. Is that probably one of the closest times you've ever come? That is the closest I've come, yes. Okay, now, We've decided for safety's sake that we'd love to see you guys continue to compete, and the fact that you're even getting in your car is commendable, but we would like to shorten the track to eighth mile. Excellent. Is that agreeable Absolutely. for you? I'd Do you agree that. to run an eighth yes, mile? Sir. We have one race here. Larry, Mark, what are you looking for? Well, it's not an Earl Shaw paint job, so don't get so close <laughs> to this race. <laughs> uh, I'll do the same race heads up again. Heads up. Heads up again. Are you sure yes, sir. you're not looking for a length? Why wouldn't you even ask for it? Because I'm the man. <laughs> that's the best answer. I'm going to lose my car, but I'm the man. And nobody's going to leave me on that gate. OK, okay this is very easy to do. Let's line them up. <laughs> oh, buddy. That's all right. I got it. They didn't cut it. Jimmy by a half. Jimmy Jim by got a half a car. Well, you know, that's why I can't I, believe I Mark didn't around. just take a, at least negotiate for a car. Well, Mark's a sportsman, man. He's old school. He's heads, heads up. Spotters are saying Jimmy got you by half a car. That's it. At the eighth mile. Dig that little car lost, but I know one thing, he sleeps in the tree. We can go again. Can you go? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, stop. Somebody needs to teach him how to cut a tree. When I left, he was still sitting there making a sandwich. Yeah, yeah, we got a fuel. We're going to switch nitrous. I think I can clip in the tree good enough to take the win. I mean, half a car length? He. Maybe Todd, this time he'll make a sandwich and a key a couple cookies. And I might be able to take them. <laughs> Man, street racer, TV? dude. Bragging rights. You give up car links, even if you win, you didn't really win. Heads up is a man sport. Giving car links is bracket racing. We're not bracket racing. Oh! Mark, would you agree on that one that Jim took the race. Oh, yeah. And you agree that you won that fairly? Yes. OK. He's going to take a, a stage of gas off. Why is it you don't want a length? I, I love this heads up racing, but he's don't, not a bracket don't racer. Not, These yeah, guys aren't bracket and racers. And you know what kind of? Uh, Run with your brother. We talk on the board all the time. And well, he had to give you this to win. But that's. I want to earn it. What did I win that by? You won that by half, half a car. car. Half a car. So, it was tight. It's taking one tight. stage off, that's taking away that's some of his ever. horsepower. Him taking off the horsepower might give me a little bit of edge to get around him. But if he leaves with me, I mean, he's overpowering the track. You can hear his car chattering the tires all the way down. Have you ever taken a length from anybody ever? Um, Usually, I have no one to have to give. <laughs> this is the first time I've had to run a, a, a rocket ship like that. What you're requesting is that he take off the second stage. It would help me. Are you willing to do that, since you already have two in the in the can. Finish this race. If you can win this, you're going to win this. That's the game plan. Okay. If you win this race, you win his ride. 
You know, like I told him, I said, you know, there's just there's no way I can outrun your car. I can outtree you, and I'm hoping that he'll overpower the track and spin. Where he almost crashed at one time, that is what I'm looking for. The track is just yeah. bad. Oh, yeah, it makes it tough. It's still shiny. It's not too scratched up. Yeah. That's the second stage. Oh, I'm having fun. Good. That's what it's all about, right? I'm tired. I'm about ready to go to McDonald's. Track's real loose. It, okay. uh, it's, it's tough to get down. And uh, I'm glad we went from a quarter mile to eighth mile. These kind of cars, if you take a good look at the tire, it's only 10 inches wide. And you're putting 1,400 horse to 10 inches. You look at these tall sportsman cars, they got tires like a funny car. You know, big tires are for girls anyways. I like 10 inches. That's the way to go. Yeah, you know. 10 inches of fun. Yeah, I know. You gotta make Arizona boy in his pants. him out by a car. Jimmy takes the win. Jim got it. Winner of race three, Jimmy Stroll. Got faster. Jimmy Sometimes Stroll. it happens. He's, he's honestly, he's only around 14 pounds of boost on it because the motor does need to be freshened up a little bit. The car's got a lot of potential, but that bet flies. <laughs> bet flies, man. Horsepower, brother. Put me on the other end. Just don't have it to outrun that car. That car's a rocket. It's a bad machine. Mark, would you agree on that race that, oh, yeah. that Jim outperformed you? Oh, yeah. So tonight it was a 3 0 win for him. He performed exceptionally. So I got to see one of the most exciting races I've seen in a long time. I want to thank you. But as in Pink's, at the end of the show, the loser will hand over his keys to the winner. So at this time, <laughs> they don't want to come out. out. <laughs> They're not getting welded in. Mark, would you hand it? Right. Good job, everybody. Thank you so much. Thanks, Orlando. That was good. Taking a little horsepower out to maybe give me a little mile an hour so I could catch him, I thought was the way to do. Um, I got kicked in the face. I took some power out of his car and made it hook better. You want to win. I mean, that's what we came here for. Didn't come here to come in second. Second's for losers. Uh, when you give up car lengths, you give pride up with it. Uh, it's hard to do that. Taking a little horsepower out is one thing, but if I'm giving him car lengths and he wins, what has he proven? He hasn't proven anything. As a team, we did everything we could. We gave it our all. I mean, we fought electrical fires and, and fuel, and we got down the track, and that's, 
We're happy. My car is traction, his car is horsepower. And horsepower won tonight. Where's the beer? <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah.